Welcome, Yogi. Welcome to the first day of this challenge. You've made it. You're not going to need anything except for your mat, perhaps something to sit on, and that's it. 21 minutes is going to go by quickly, so let's not waste any time. Come into a comfortable seated position, sitting tall. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out the mouth. Do that again. Inhale. Exhale out the mouth. And now with a closed mouth, breathe in and out the nostrils. Picture the breath moving up and down your central channel, the spine. Find a whisper sound at the back of your throat. That is ujjayi breath. As you exhale, get a sense that you are grounding. As you inhale, you are expanding and even sitting taller. Next, exhale, exhale completely, but hug the abdominal wall backward. Keep the abs firm as you inhale, lift into the chest and back lungs. We'll do that one more time, exhaling all the way out until the belly draws toward the spine. You'll keep some of that firmness as you inhale, sit tall, lift the heart, and expand. Continue this luxurious breath, but let's bring prayer hands into the center of our hearts. Sitting tall, lift the heart into your thumbs. We'll bow the chin in toward the fingertips. I'd like to set a shared intention for our challenge in this first day of it. And that is just that in keeping with the challenge, we have the goal and the intention to awaken every part of ourselves. And in a way, we start with the body. But that moves into breath, moves into your mental space, and it moves into the action you're taking in the world. So let's start first with this intention to very simply commit yourself to it. Know deeply that you are worth this. You are worth 21 minutes a day and much, much more. So feel wonderful no guilt whatsoever. Feel wonderful, inspired, and motivated that you have chosen to awaken every part of yourself. Well, stay committed. Take a moment and make that intention yours. Let's offer it up to the ether, sweeping arms up, reach up tall. And then exhale, arms by your sides. Let's extend the legs out. Bring your heels over to the right side. You'll touch the right fingers down to earth and sweep the left arm up and over, breathing into side body. Keep the heart opening. In fact, spiral it upward, gaze upward. Big breath. Come all the way up, plant your left hand, pop onto left knee, extend the right leg long. Reach the right arm across your ear and enjoy your stretching. Drift your gaze under your tricep, gazing high. Draw this right hand behind your head, lean into the hand and open your heart. So you're exploring a bit of a back bend. Mm -hmm. 
On the exhale, it's pull, chin to knee, right knee to chin, empty. And inhale, extend long. Do that three more times. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, lengthen. And then set both knees down. Take your seat up and over to the other side. Heels are over at your left. The left fingers touch earth. Right arm reaches up and over. Let's breathe into side body space. No sense of urgency in the breath. Keep the heart open. In fact, spiral it upward, gaze upward. Big breaths. Inhale, come all the way up, plant your right hand, pop up onto the right knee, extend the left leg, and reach the left arm across your ear line. Enjoy the length of it, and keep actively making length. Roll the heart up toward the sky, gaze as high as well. Keep that length happening. Take this left hand behind your head and lean back into it. Open the heart. Explore back then. Keep this hand behind your head and on an exhale, we'll take left knee to your chin. Empty out and re-extend. The leg can hover. Let's do that three more times. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Reach long and then set your knees down. Come all the way back onto the seat for just a moment, enough to get neutral in the spine. On your inhale, come high onto knees, reach all the way up, offer the heart. And then exhale, hands to earth, empty out in cat pose. Inhale, arching for cow. Exhale, lower the chest down. Inhale, cobra first, you can lift your hands. And exhale, dip down. Inhale, higher cobra now, heart forward, shoulders back. Right away, let's tip over to this right side hip, rolling over. Breathe to where you feel tight. And through the center, heart up. Tip over to the left side. Back through the middle, heart so high. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a little time to pedal out, rock around. Sweep the right leg out behind. You can open your hip. Let's bend the top knee now. Look up and over that left shoulder. Try to glance at your own toes. Exhale, right knee to nose. Empty out. Step the foot between your hands. Separate your feet hips distance apart because you'll climb all the way up to a high lunge. Reaching the arms up. Take hold of the left wrist, reaching up and over to the right.
Big right hand to your waist. See if you can keep the tilt happening. Still keeping right hand on the waist, draw the left hand behind your head, lift the heart. Settle back, heel down, sweep the right arm up now for this variation of Peaceful Warrior, giant powerful breath. Breath in. Exhale, right forearm to your thigh, left arm across the ear, gazing up for side angle. Send this left arm behind your back. Find the fingers tuck in somewhere. You'll slowly straighten the right leg, heel toe the back foot up a little closer. Right arm reaches toward the front of the room. Now you'll create a half-bound triangle. Right hand touches shin or below. Keep the lines long and open. Keep pressing through the feet so you're still engaging core. Big breath in. Exhale, look down, soften your right knee enough to plant this whole right hand. You're going to create side plank by crossing the right ankle over the left ankle. Straighten the arms and sweep the left arm across your ear line. Moving around in any way that would make you feel fantastic. Roll back to plank pose, inhaling, exhale, lower in your way, could be chaturanga or the belly, into cobra or upward facing dog, hips hovering giza. Exhaling, downward facing, connect to breath. Sweep the left leg up, open the hip. Bend the top knee, gaze up and over this right shoulder. Take a peek at your foot. Exhaling, knee to nose. Place the foot between your hands, a little over to the left, feet are situated hips distance apart so you can climb up to a steady high lunge. You'll take hold of this right wrist, reaching up and over to your left side body opening. Draw this left hand to the waist. Keep the tilt happening. Just find the angle that's fruitful for you. The left hand stays. The right hand moves behind your head. Lift your heart. And then settle the back heel down. Left arm reaches up for this version of Peaceful Warrior. And exhale, left forearm to your thigh. The right arm can sweep across the ear. Right arm rolling almost behind the ear as you look up.
Let's wrap right arm behind your back. Snuggle the fingers in where you can. We'll keep this half bind as we straighten the left leg and we'll heel toe the back foot in a bit. Reach the left arm toward the front of the room or front of the mat and create your triangle. Long lines and the heart always open. Looking up. Stay in the breath so complete, emptying all the way. Filling up. And then look down, bend the left knee enough to get your left hand planted firmly. You'll find side plank by crossing left ankle over the right ankle. Right arm comes across the ear. And then you'll make any movement Any movement that feels great, that awakens your corners, that makes you feel free. Next inhale, roll over to plank. Exhale, lower in your way, chaturanga or the belly. Heart forward and up, cobra or up dog. Into downward facing dog. Let's set the knees down, reach the arms forward, send your chest toward earth. Get the part of your body you can down, chin, forehead, nose. back onto your knees, but this time toes are tucked. Finding our finishing postures, and it just feels like we're getting started. So lift your seat, you squeeze through the seat, point the hip bones forward, lift through the heart, until you can touch one heel and then the other. Stay active, lifting, gazes up or up and back. Front body awakening. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, sit right down. We're going to move into a headstand today. You can, of course, bring this to a wall. Uh, if you're newer to this practice, you can be doing headstand preparation pose, which still builds quite a lot of strength. Now, diving forward, elbows under the shoulders, interlace the fingers, plant your head, tuck your toes, walk your hips in nice and close, and that might feel like enough. If you can float one leg or both, go ahead. Small hop is okay. Ten breaths. Bend both knees, hug the knees in. Set it all the way down at child's pose. Let's climb 
look, come all the way onto our backs. We are almost finished and I can hardly believe it. All right, so of course, if you have the time, you're all warmed up for a fuller practice, like an hour long. Uh, we're gonna do one shape before we finish up, so bend your knees, take your hands underneath your seat, lift your heart, lift your chin, take the top of your head to the ground, we're doing a fish, open through the chest, and hands to the heart. Let's reconnect to any intention you may have set today. It's intention also to stay committed. Release arms. Lay all the way down, extend the legs. We'll do a one minute Shavasana, though I of course encourage you to do something longer. Take up space. Find stillness even if you intend to continue. Feel free to pause it, of course, but when you're ready, let's climb back up for a seated position. So glad you're here. Congratulations, one down. Doesn't it feel like we're just getting started? There is so much more to do, uh, and we get to do it tomorrow. So please do stay in touch, leave a comment, tag on social media. I'm at Leah Butler Yoga. Uh, because we want to see you and what you're up to. We can hold each other accountable. It makes it so much more fun. And please always know that you are doing this with a community of people across the globe. Thank you for being here. May we all awaken.